Texas Tribune reporters Jay Root and Emily Ramshaw have followed Perry on the trail over the last month to more than two dozen cities in the U.S. They're seeing a very different side of the governor, who remains a household name in Texas, but an enigma to the rest of the country. He just took the race by storm. And what we've seen recently is that momentum has slowed down, the surge in the polls has stopped. Ramshaw just returned from Perry's campaign swings through Florida, Virginia and Iowa. He got hit pretty hard by the far right in recent weeks on issues like immigration, on issues like uh, his mandating the HPV vaccine for young girls. So I think what he's been trying to do is really reach out to the Tea Party, really reach out to you know traditional Republicans and say, Here's my record on job creation. Uh, here's what I will do to, to repeal Obamacare. In this new phase, Ramshawn Root say he's focused on early primary states and playing to the same strengths that have made him an undefeated candidate in Texas. The one-on-one -on -one retail politicking, he's very, very good at. He's able to establish a connection with voters. To say to them, you know, look me in the eye, shake my hand. I'm like you, you can relate to me, you can't relate to Mitt Romney. More and more they say the race is boiling down to two candidates. You're seeing the Tea Parties closer to Perry, you're seeing the more moderates closer to Mitt Romney, and so there really is a battle for the heart and soul of the Republican Party right now. People really starting to compare Perry and Romney to get a sense of which of these Republicans is really the most electable. And I think that's where the next line of questioning is really going to land. In Austin with your Capital Buzz, I'm Tan Tan with the Texas Tribune.